This video is a tutorial on how to use RefWorks and InVivo in order to really simplify the process of conducting literature reviews. Now, uh, let's first talk about RefWorks, how you get there. It's a free tool that's offered by the Hunt Library. I wasn't aware of it. I became accidentally aware of it when I saw an ad for something called InNote. I asked the library about it. They referred me to RefWorks, which is their own free um, piece of software. It's an online tool and it allows you to automatically uh, download citations to RefWorks and it also offers a plugin to use with Word. So you can save all of your references and citations, plug it into the Word document that you're working on, and also I like to use it to upload the actual files so I can keep all my research files in one place. So it all starts with getting to the Hunt Library first. A common way to get to the Hunt Library is to just go into one of your classes. Let's say, for example, uh, I've, I've got uh, 502 this term. I think you all know how to get to the Hunt Library. You just click on your class and then go to Hunt Library link. What I do is save a link to uh, Hunt Library so I can go there right away. And I have it on this tab. Here's Hunt Library. Once you get to Hunt Library, if you go up to the upper right hand corner where you have Google custom search type in RefWorks once you do you're going to get to this page and it explains RefWorks in detail notice there's a couple of pieces to it number one you go to RefWorks and set up your account it's a personal account and you, it always goes through the Hunt library so you're not charged for it but you have to sign up and have your own account there is also something called Write Insight which is the plugin for Word that allows you to synchronize your Word document with RefWorks and by doing so you can drop in citations into your Word document for RefWorks. So now let's go to RefWorks and see what RefWorks is all about. Once you go click on the RefWorks, RefWorks link and start an account, here's the RefWorks site. I'm going to sign in It's thinking about it. Okay, so uh, notice uh, I've got all of these references that I've pulled from different articles. There's this tab that says Organize and Share Folders. You can create folders for whatever research you're working on. For example, uh, I did a, uh, published an article on uh, PERT analysis earlier this year. I'm working on a literature review for a dissertation did one for the American Society of Engineering Management. Just in any case, you set up your own folder, and in that folder, you can store literature uh, as a result of your search. Okay, once you're at this page, go to Tools, and the Tools button, it shows Write in Sight. You can download that, and that way you have um, the Word link. So let me show you how RefWorks works. Uh, let's go back to the Hunt Library. I'm just going to type in the Hunt Library, and I'm going to type in uh, project, there we go, project risk management. Let's just take a look at project risk management and see what we have. All right, let's limit it to a full text, um, journal article, peer-reviewed publications, you guys are probably quicker at this than me. Let's say um, here's project risk management for uh, small firms. Let's just take a look at this. It's thinking about it. All right, what do we have here? Notice you have download PDF. You've got the article. And let's say you wanted to keep that. What would you do? You go to Save to RefWorks. Once you save to RefWorks, there we go, exporting to RefWorks. It's taking a minute. Okay, 
All right, naturally I had to pick one where there's a help desk problem. Let's try this one more time. Save to RefWorks. Okay, let's try a different article. Uh, project risk, project management and risk administration. Let's take a look at this one. Okay, see so we have full text. Uh, export save, go to RefWorks, click on RefWorks. This is what I normally see. It must have been a problem with that other journal. Output to RefWorks. I want citation, abstract indexing. Continue. Here's the screen that you get. Exporting to RefWorks in progress. And uh, you're, you're uh, taken back to your uh, RefWorks page. Notice the uh, reference was imported. You click on last imported folder. And there it is, project management and risk administration. Now here's what I like to do once this is done. I like to go into edit. And why do I do that? Is because I want to snag the full text. For example, I'll take this full text PDF, download it. Give me just a second to download it. I'm going to put this, uh, I'll just put risk project. Got that going. I'll just put that in documents. All right. Now I go back to RefWorks and then I can uh, attach my uh, actual literature to my RefWorks citation file. Okay, and then save reference. And I've got it. All right, now let's say I wanted to do a Word document. Let's go to Word document, File, New. Once you have the Write and Cite plugin, I won't go through. Uh, I won't go through how to use the uh, Write and Cite plugin. I'll just let you go through the instructions so you learn how to do it. Uh, notice here's what happens. You see RefWorks tab. Okay, so once RefWorks tab is in place, and that's after you download Write and Cite, you hit Sync My Database. So it syncs. It's, it's taking a moment to sync the data. Maybe I shouldn't have hit it right in the middle of a presentation. Okay, now, now it is uh, synced. The, the database is synced. Okay, I'm just going to click on Not in Folder. Let's see if there's anything here. Um, this is an example here. I'm just going to put in risk. Uh, I'll type in project risk. See if I can find what I downloaded. All right. So let's assume that I wanted to uh, use this. Um, I just hit OK, and it inputs a citation. There it is. Now let's assume that I wanted to use a bibliography. Let me go to something that doesn't have that many resources. Let's look at a uh, PERT project. You can create uh, a bibliography and put it at the end of your uh, Word document. I'm going to click on APA 6th, Create Bibliography. Uh oh, pop up was blocked. Always allow. Okay, click here. Here's the bibliography. All right. I just happened to click the web view, but it also does it in Word as well, which I should have done. I clicked the wrong button. All right. But anyway, here's the bibliography. So this is uh, this is just. Uh, the result of capturing references using that export mechanism in um, you know once you're in the hunt library you can export directly to RefWorks it stores it you can put it in a folder label the folder according to what research you're doing attach the actual literature that you're going to use uh, so you can keep it all keep all of the literature files in one place download right in sight Therefore, you've got RefWorks synced to Word, so you can input uh, citations where you want them, and then you can export the entire bibliography when it's done. So that takes a lot of the hassle 
out of organizing all of your uh, citations and creating a bibliography. Okay, so this is really part one of uh, RefWorks plus NVivo. This is an introduction to where you find RefWorks, some tips on how you get started with RefWorks and what it really can do for you. And now we're, I'm going to do a second video which tells you about how to use this with NVivo. Okay, uh, this takes care of all your references and citations. But you remember, every time you export the citation from Ref, RefWorks, I mean from the Hunt Library to RefWorks, I also download, download the PDF and upload it to the RefWorks site. And I do that so I can have access to those PDFs. Uh, once I'm done with my literature research and I want to use NVivo to help me with my literature review, I'm going to take those PDFs and I'm going to upload them into NVivo and then analyze them. So we'll take a look at that portion of RefWorks plus NVivo in part two.